Bass resonator here. Playing around with holographic glitter in the middle of my gigantic sunflower. So I've got black holographic glitter, then silver, then purple, and then on the outside I have gold. This is maple uh, intense chameleon from Let's Resin. And then the inside of that right here is gold intense chameleon from um, Let's Resin. And all of these holographic glitters are from Let's Resin as well from their uh, holographic glitter pack, six pack. And then um, on the very, these raised edges, I put that gold intense chameleon. But what I'm going to do, and just so you see how big this is. My hand, from the tip of my little finger to the tip of my thumb, is 9 inches. So, this is a 13 inch, 12, 13 inch sunflower, giganto. And it's about an inch deep when it's all poured. Well, what am I going to do the rest? Am I going to color these petals? I think not. I think what I'm going to do is let the magic of resin take its place. And I'm not going to use black, even though I used intense chameleon and um, those powders really pop when you coat them with black. I am going to use a combination of things. Hopefully it'll work. I know it's gonna be pretty. But I've got this Unicone Art Glitter Yellow, which is a real pearlescent um, yellow. And I've got this Pro Marine Golden Koi, which is a very gold color. And then, in order to give it even more sparkle, I'm going to use this Arteza Holographic Green. Yeah, I know green, but you watch what it does. I'm going to mix just a little bit of that in with the micas. And then I'm going to pour the whole thing with that yellowish, goldish, greenish sparkle. And this should be amazing. See, I sold my other one. And so I am having to do a new one, and uh, that's the colors I'm going with. So, see you soon. Okay, I just mixed in the Unicone Art Glitter Yellow. This is before I mix the other colors in. Boy, look at this. Super shiny. But I'm going to mix in some of that Golden Koi and some glitters. I'll get back to you. <laughs> I need to tell you this. It's kind of fascinating. Right now, in South Texas, we have three different types of trees that have this yellow-colored pollen. And when I put this glitter yellow mica into this, into this uh, resin, to, it looked like a whole bunch of those trees got together and just sneezed pollen, which for most people around here causes massive allergies. So this is the sneezy type of the time of the year, but... We're going to make the best of that color. Adding in that golden koi made that bright yellow just this rich, rich goldish yellow. I'm trying not to stir right in front of the camera. Sorry about that. But this is just like playing with liquid gold. Wait till I add the glitter. And I'm going to do something. I told you I was going to use this uh, holographic green a little bit from Arteza but then I'm also going to use a little bit of champagne gold in there just to keep it from going too green. I added that green glitter in there and I couldn't really tell that there was anything in there and then I added the gold glitter and until I do pull it out I don't really notice the glitter so much so um, I think they're just going to add extra sparkle to the finished product on the other side. This is some of the thinnest resin I've ever used. Just a second, I'll get the brand. Incredible Solutions Pourable Plastic. And it came super cheap because the Part B has a little bit of yellow color, so it wasn't up to factory standards. But when I'm going to be mixing in mica, doesn't matter anyway. So I got it for like ten dollars for this i mean that was super cheap but um 
with this gold, it's not going to make that much difference. It's, but it's going to take a while to set up so because it's so thin. Um, thinnest stuff I've ever used. And I've even used the Platinum 360 and Platinum, um, the one, uh, the other one, the Deep Pour from Platinum. And this is still thinner than that. So fascinating. I mixed up about 17 ounces of this resin. And... I, you know, I mix really hard and stuff, but it's so thin I can't get, well, not that I want them, but I didn't get hardly any bubbles. So, see you after it finishes up. Mostly tour cure to the touch. Time to unmold. Got it out of the mold. And it's not sunny enough outside for me to take it out there. So I got it under a really bright light. But look at those holographics and that gold. Look at the purple. And then the silver holographic. And then the black holographic. And in these petals, remember, there's that green holographic shining up. Wow. What a beautiful sunflower. And depending on which angle you look, those um, intense chameleons change color too. So, tell me what you think.